All right, let's try and will spring into existence by making some happy little flower painted rocks. I traced the top of one of my paint bottles to get a nice round center for my flower. And then I'm gonna take my largest dotting tool that I own and some pink paint and just go around the outside of that circle that I penciled in. So my petals are touching and they are overlapping that circle just a tiny bit at the bottom of each dot, if you can see that. So not quite a halfway mark, but definitely overlapping the circle a little bit. And we'll come back after swirling all the paint and fill in the center of this flower. And while we're waiting for these petals to dry, I'm gonna make a second rock using my new oval dotting tools. So this will be more like a daisy and I did a little more overlapping with the petals, but same concept, just different shaped petals. So they're a little more elongated and this one definitely looks more like a daisy. I'm still getting the hang of these and in my video on the oval dotting tools, I realized that I had been using them and kind of rocking them onto the rock, which is what you saw again here. In my defense, this rock has a very domed top, so I kind of had to rock them to get the full kind of stamp effect of the dotting tool. And of course, there was plenty of paint on the dotting tool, so I'm just taking a brush to kind of even that out so it doesn't dry lumpy or cracked or anything like that, and then just kind of pulling that extra paint right through to the middle of the flower because I'm gonna do a yellow center, and instead of bothering with gesso, I can just pull that extra white paint in as sort of a base coat that will make sure the yellow is nice and vibrant. Now coming back to the pink petals, I am gonna put some Liquitex gesso in the center of this flower to give it a little bit of base coat to cover up some of that natural, there's a bit of a dark spot on the stone that's a natural part of the stone, but just to cover that up because I'm gonna do sort of a two-tone lavender in the center of this flower. Then back to the daisy and a nice big yellow dot in the center and smoothing that out. So you're getting the full feel of, this is kind of how I work when I'm doing multiple rocks is I bounce back and forth between one or two or three while other rocks are drying, I'm working on another one. So now here comes that first coat of lavender paint in the center of the pink flower and I'm just gonna fill this in the best that I can and then I'm not so much worried about it dry, fully drying because I'm gonna blend a little bit. I want it to be lighter in the center. So I am going to take one of my little spongy pouncer tools, you could use a makeup sponge also, and paint a little bit of white paint onto the sponge and this, this is just gonna create kind of a, a lighter effect in the center of the flower. So I'm gonna dab that on and then go back and forth between the dabbing and the brush to kind of blend the lavender and the white outward. take two paint pens from my Thule Art Earth and Skin Tone set to make little flower pots on these. So I'm using kind of a darker brown for the main outside parts of the pot and then a lighter kind of peachy brown to give a little bit of shadow to the inside of the pot. So just drawing them on and I don't get them exact which is okay because you can go back and paint over it, right over it with the paint pen to correct where you might have been crooked or maybe a little too thick on one side or the other. So just coloring it on. I gave a couple of coats since I didn't use any gesso just to make sure everything had nice solid coverage and it resembled kind of those terracotta pots. You see the little flower pots? take a fine point to the art green paint pen and create a stem and some kind of big beautiful leaves one on each side of the flower so just kind of big flowy leaves and then I will fill them in the paint pens are great for this because you can be very detailed they have really good coverage um, I'm really happy with the Thule Art paint pens. They are just, they're my favorite. I like them better than the Poscas. 
um, but just filling in these leaves so we have nice bright coverage. And then after I get these filled in, I'm gonna come back with some fine line, the Uni Pin Fine Liner pens, and just start outlining pieces of the design. So I started with the flower pot, and then did the stem and the leaves and gave a little bit of line for definition, but I'm not done with the flower part yet, so that's gonna be at the end for their outlines. So now we're gonna add the happiness to these little flowers and it's just gonna be two kind of half moons for the eyes because they're just eyes closed in happiness with a couple of little lashes. And then I'm gonna take a Posca PC1MR paint pen to make a black mouth and fill it all the way in. A Couple of dots of light pink paint for rosy cheeks and then a Thule Art red paint pen to create this little bit of tongue. So it's kind of a slanted, rounded shape, but it gives it so much life and a little tongue. And then I'm gonna come in and re-outline all of the petals and the flower up top now. And I realized at some point in the process, I forgot to film the daisy rock, the completion of the daisy rock, which I still did. And it was a very similar design as far as the face just different petals, different colors. What do you think? I think they turned out super cute. Great way to welcome spring. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch and I'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah.